Hey guys, it's Liz. Um, I wanted to do a video to explain to everyone how to how I am doing my webinars. Um, you could do it this way, or you could do it, you know, keep doing your um, events on Facebook or live or whatever. This is just an option. But if you want to duplicate what I'm doing, uh, I just wanted to walk through all the steps. So I use Zoom.us as my webinar um, software because it's free for up to 40 people. Um, and up to 40 minutes. I maybe it's 50 people. I think it's 40 people in 40 minutes. I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm not going to go through how to sign up for it and how to get all your technical things completed on that on for zoom.us because they go over that in detail. Um, so you will need a camera. So you can, you'll either have to do it from your iPad or your laptop. Or um, like for me, I, I actually run my webinar from my desktop, but I downloaded an app on my phone to use my phone as my webcam. So that's how I make it happen on my desktop. So, but I'm, like I said, I'm not going to go into all those details because um, you'll just have to figure that part out. So um, there's videos on YouTube and zoom.us goes over all that for you. So that's the first thing is you're going to go ahead and you know have that loaded and you're going to have your you know schedule your webinar on zoom and then the um, next step is for you, you this is not mandatory you can go ahead and just share the zoom link with people and have them show up I prefer to have everyone sign up register for the class on Eventbrite because I've noticed that when people register for a class they are more likely to show up so this is an extra step, but the one that I'm, I'm happy with doing. Not only do they have a higher chance of showing up, but I also am able to gather their contact information if they don't show up. So that way I can contact them. So you're just going to go to eventbrite.com, set up an account, and again, it's going to show you how to create an event. And then you're going to share that event link with people for them to be able to register. Now, you will have to send the zoom.us that event link to everyone who is registered. So through Eventbrite, you can just email everyone who's registered that link or you can um, email them individually as they register. Again, doing the Eventbrite is an extra step, so don't feel like you have to do it. You can, like I said, you could just set up your, your zoom.us um, webinar and then share that link with everybody and bypass the whole Eventbrite part of it. Okay, so once you have your um, you have your um, event going, what you're going to do is you're going to um, you can just talk. You can just talk with your face. You can just have your face up there and talk for the whole class and not you know hold up papers or hold up graphics hold up your premium starter kit they're going to be looking at your face so it's as if you're standing in front of them for a class so you could do it total totally low tech like that and just um just be talking to them face to face i don't have my face showing right now because i'm on my phone making this video so another option you have see whenever i toggle over the screen with my my cursor down here it says share screen so i'm going to go ahead and click on that because what i do is i do talk with you know i do have them seeing my face during the class but i also have my powerpoint um up and so that way i can have i can show my powerpoint so once you click that share screen button at the bottom you're going to be able to I clicked on desktop and then once um, I clicked on desktop then I can open any of the windows that I have open on my desktop so like I wouldn't want to show this view so I'm going to come up here in PowerPoint and I'm going to just say view slideshow so it's just one big screen okay and then you know you know how to move pages you just use the arrow button to change your pages okay so you can do it um, either way you could show your PowerPoint you could let me um, close this out and show you you could um, go to I don't have it ready but you could um, you would have all these pages open and ready 
so that way you're not having to type stuff in and be delayed but like you could go over here you know show people the products pages um, you know as you're talking about thieves cleaner or Ningxia you could go over here to the Ningxia page on the on the Young Living site and it's great to model for them during the class the resources where they can go find information for themselves so um, you can pull up the Facebook group and show them hey when you become a member you're going to be included into our, our private Facebook group um, so you can show them whatever page on your computer that you want to I'm pretty sure you're not able to do the share screen option from a iPad because unless you had downloaded a bajillion apps so um, I really think that if you're teaching a webinar you need to be doing it from a laptop or a desktop that's just my personal opinion you can use your um, iPad as your camera um, but I wouldn't I wouldn't try to run an entire event from an iPad it's just a personal thing so um, that's pretty much it and then whenever you want to stop sharing your screen they're still gonna see I don't know if you can see this over here on the right like this would be my face so even though um, they're seeing my screen they're still gonna see my face talking up here um, as I'm talking them through that screen and then when you if you don't if you want to stop sharing there's just a button up here at the top that says stop sharing so you just click the stop sharing button it's going to go right back to your face and then as people are talking their faces will pop up here as well um, and then you know the zoom goes through all this but you know you can manage people you can mute people like if they've got dogs barking or babies crying or something you can mute them or whatever remember you are limited to 40 minutes so you do need to have some kind of clock they do give you a 10 minute warning and then they give you I think they give you a five minute warning and then again at one minute um, and they, it will shut off so um, need to wrap it up at that point which I personally feel like it's a good thing because that way people don't including myself don't get super duper chatty during the event so um, it's a really good opportunity to use the new overview um, outline because it, you can get through it very quickly but you could use this for one-on-ones you could use this for educating um, business builders you know walk them through the virtual office you could show someone how to place an order doing it this way you could actually you know let them share their screen and walk them through placing an order you could use this to educate anybody about anything pretty much so it, it could be a very useful tool and it's free because you can share your screen they can share their screen they're seeing your face it's a really great you could do care calls this way oh my gosh I just thought of that you could totally do care calls where they could see you and you could see them that's a great idea we should do that team okay guys so I hope this video is helpful if there's anything that I left out or you have any questions about anything um, please let me know